everybody. How are you feeling today? Well, I hope you're feeling great because we have a lot of things lined up for you. Thank you for watching ITTV. My name is Pu Yi and I am your tutor for Year 5 Mathematics. We are going to have a lot of fun learning about numbers together. Are you ready for today's lesson? Today we will be learning whole numbers within 1 million. We come across many numbers each day, but do you know what they mean or how to read them? Take a look at this advertisement. Well, it's a commercial property for sale. It says here at the bottom, price from RM358640 onwards. Now, how do you read this amount? Do you still remember your place value and digit value? Well, if you're confused, here's a tip on how to remember them. For place value, just remember it as the place you stay. Well, you have, the place you stay has a name, right? Well, so the place value refers to the place or the name of the place where the number is at. As for digit value, it refers to a number. So if you are asked for the digit value of an underlying number, for example, take a look at this one. We have 7, 5, 9, 1. But underline 7, can you tell me the place value of this number? 1s, 10s, 100s, 1000s. So, we have 7,000. Or, we can also write it as 7,000. Going back to our question earlier, the price of the property is 358640 ringgit. Well, the place value and the digit value of the numbers are shown in the candy spike abacus here. Don't you think this is the loveliest spike abacus that you've ever seen? Well, look here. Let's take a look at the place values. So we have here zero ones, four tens, six hundreds, eight thousands, five ten thousands and three hundred thousands. So this is how we read the number. Three hundred fifty-eight thousand six hundred and forty ringgit. This is a six-digit figure. Now remember, when you read a number, you read it starting from the largest place value, that is, from left to right. However, when you fill in the numbers into the spike abacus or into a place value chart, you start from right to left. Let's see if you can find six digit numbers in this picture. And I want you to read them out loud once you find them. Aha! I found the first one. It's right here in the middle. It's 133900. How do you read that? That's right. It's 100. 33,900. Have you found the second one? That's right, it's the one that says 641021. Now, how do you read that? It's 641,021. Well, there is a third one hidden somewhere in the picture. Let's see if you can find it. Correct, it's the one that says 821794. And it's read as 821,794. Now that you can name the numbers, let's see if you can write them out in words. Take a look at this question. Write 321,008 in words. Now we will do this by using the place value chart. Now take a look at this question here. Write 321,008 in words. Now we will do this by using a place value chart. We have one here. Now remember what we said earlier, 
about reading numbers, we start from left to right. And when we fill it into a place value chart, we start from correct, right to left. So let's fill in the numbers here. We have 8, 0, 0, 1, 2, 3. Yeah? So let's take a look over here. We have 8 ones, 0 tens, 0 hundreds, 1 thousands, 2 ten thousands, and 3 hundred thousands. Now how do we write them in words? Can you tell me how do you read this number first? That's right. It's 321,008. So let's write it out in words. So we have here 3, 2, 1, 0, 0, 8. Now, if you cannot remember where 1,000 is, just count 3 spaces from the back. 1, 2, 3. And draw an imaginary line here for 1,000. So you have 321,000. You write that down first. 300. 21,000 and 8. That's the answer. Now what if you are given the words and you are asked to write the numerals instead? Take a look at this question. So we will do this by filling in the numbers in a place value chart first. So it says 963,137. Let's fill in from the back first. The last three numbers, it says 137. And as for the thousands, we have 963,000. So there you go. This is how you write the answer. When you write out, remember to leave a space, a small one, for the thousand and complete the answer. There you go. 963,137. Let's do some exercises, shall we? Write the following in words. A. 694207. Now remember where the imaginary line or space for 1000 is? Yes. It's between 4 and 2. So you have 694207. Let's try B. 268410. And the space or the imaginary line is? between 8 and 4. So we have 268,410. As for C, 100375. Now I'm not going to give you the answer for this one. I want you to quickly grab your pen and paper, copy down this figure, 100375, and try to answer it yourself. We will check the answer together in the next lesson. Remember the number 100375. Yeah? Now let's go to the second question. Write the following in numerals. So we have 220,512. Now, find the word thousand and underline it. Okay? So, this will help you to figure out where the imaginary line or the space is. So read the question again. 220,512. So when we write it out, we will have 220, a small space, 512. There you have it. That's the answer. Let's try another one. 
304,912. Right? Now let's try another one. We have 304,914. Let's find the word thousand and underline it. Okay? Now this will give you a hint where the imaginary line or the space is. So we have 304,000. We write it as 304. Give it a little space for the thousand. 914. So we have 304914. Let's try yet another one. But this time, I want you to try it. 671,800. Now, again, I want you to write this in your paper. Try it out yourself and we will check the answer together in the next lesson, okay? Now, one last question for you. Imagine that you are buying a car. Yes, your favorite car. And it costs RM. 208911. When you write the amount in words on a check, it will be. I have four options here for you, and I want you to pick the right answer. A. 280,911 ringgit. Or is it B. 289,011 ringgit. Or C. 200. 8,911 ringgit or is it D? 200,000 ringgit. Can you guess the answer? 208,911. Now can you tell me where the imaginary line for 1,000 is? Yes, it's between 8 and 9. So that means it's 208,911. And 11. So that gives us the answer as C. Well, if you have gotten C as your answer, I want you to give yourself a big pat on the back. Yeah? Well, I'm sure you have a lot of fun time with us with thousands, hundred thousands, ten thousands, and the likes. Now let's take a break. Let's chill out with this brain teaser that we have prepared for you. Take a look at this question. Without lifting your pen, draw four lines to connect these nine dots. Now, do you still have your pen and paper with you? Now, draw these nine dots on your paper. And then I would like you to try, try as hard as you can to use only four lines to connect all the dots together. Yeah, the instruction is again, without lifting your pen, draw four lines to connect these nine dots. As like just now, I will not be giving you the answer. We will check the answer together in the next lesson. We have come to the end of today's lesson. Let's recap what we have learned today. Well, we have learned how to name and write six-digit numbers. We have also done some revision on place value, such as ones, thousands, ten thousands, and hundred thousands. And also, digit value, such as three, three hundred, three thousand. 30,000 and 300,000. And when we read numbers, we start from left to right. But when we fill the numbers into a place value chart, we start from right to left. That's great. It has been fun being with you on this show. Now remember to try out the questions that I've given you earlier and the brain teaser too. So I'll see you in the next lesson. Be sure to tune in. See you!